Okay, you want to go to the Create tab from Roblox and then click Create Experience. This will load up Roblox Studio. You may have to log in. Um, and then you want to go to the classic base plate and click that. And then you'll see at the top, it will say uh, right here, classic base plate. Click that again, and there it is. And then to get your character in the game, press play. That will bring your character down. Uh, maybe take a look and make sure it's your character. Uh, if it's a back view like that, uh, you can hold down the left mouse button and drag around to move the camera. Then you want to go over to the workspace to the right. And if you click, left click workspace, and then find your character's name and right click your character's name, scroll all the way down to the bottom and it will have export selection and then you want to left click that and then you want to create a folder somewhere i did it on the desktop here uh, and then i clicked new folder i named the folder roblox character you can name it whatever you like once the folder is created you want to click that folder to open that folder and then click save and that's going to save all of your i'm sorry don't forget to name the character i just used my character name and this is an obj file that's the file that the roblox uses and click save so now we can go to the desktop and make sure that the file is there minimize all these pages and then there's the folder roblox character so i double click to open it has a lot of files and the C right there. Mine says C because I use the 3D printer. Yours may not have that C right there. That is the OBJ file, one to five megabytes. So now you need to email all of those files to me. So go to your email, Gmail, whatever you use. Um, in Gmail here, you kick it uh, or click compose and two you want to type my email address which is teachertad001 at gmail.com t-e-a-c-h-e-r-t-a-d 001 at gmail.com in the subject if you would type roblox 3d print or 3d print and paint if that's what you uh, would like and then type the name of your character just to make sure that I have the right character. Then you want to click the paperclip, which will attach file and go back to the folder you created. Again, mine was on the desktop. It's called Roblox characters. So I'm going to double click that file, that folder. And then I'm going to left click and hold the button down and drag across all of these files. Uh, and then click open and that's going to put those in the email once they're all finished loading in the email you can click send and that will send me the file i will print these as soon as i get them I, actually i will take them into the computer and do the modeling uh, that i need to do and i will live stream the modeling process you can watch and see what i'm doing there and then i will live stream the printing of the uh, character on the printer as well, so you kind of see how it's going. Okay, thank you very much.